right. For starters, um, I do have put I got a lazy Susan Baron off of Amazon. And so I just drilled those three things out. There's a uh, a hole you can see through here that helps you align up your surface to whatever you're mounting it to. Just to be able to give you a, an option or the ability to mount it to whatever surface you're mounting it on. On this case, I think I'm gonna mount it directly to the to the floor. I'll just turn it using this hole, find my holes and run some cap cons right directly through. Got these ramps from Harbor Freight. There's regular well, tail, tailgate ramps, steel loading ramp. Uh, I can't remember how much they cost. I'll put a price up. So anyways, what I know I'm doing here is I have a little angled piece of steel there, another angled steel down there. And so I'm going to end up bending those down, but so I'm going I'm to mount this upside down and then uh, it'll give me the ability to drive up on this side and then drive off on that far side over there once you know I spin the be able to spin it and get the bike going in the other direction. over here so I can have my foot when I ride up on here I'll have my place to put my foot so I don't tip over I'm pulling halfway the distance of this ramp right here and it, I already measured it it's 72 inches so we're looking at 36 inches to, to center not exact This board, 16 and a quarter, 8 and an eighth. The reason I'm kind of using this ramp for this anyways is because they don't really hold up for anything when you're uh, trying to load stuff on your uh, on your truck. You can see that bend, that's from the, the weight pushing it down, it, bend it, bending that piece up. It's not thick enough or whatever to hold it, what I need it to hold. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and take the other part off and then get those bent down at a better angle. I've decided to go with a different method. You're not going to be able to see this really well, but I went ahead and marked out two holes for um, to drill us in the inverse direction. 
That way it'll give me a longer uh, slope to hit the ground and stuff. So I'm just going to center punch this. Keep my drill from, uh, from sliding all over the place. That's a neat little trick I picked up along the way. So the only thing you miss is I just gotta cut a two by twelve, put it on a quarter inch sheet of plywood, line that up. So now I'm just gonna run holes through here, through here, go through the plywood, right through here and into the bottom with these lag bolts. I'll give me something to stand on, put my kickstand on. I got another piece of two by twelve right here. Out. And that's gonna bolt up to there, and then I'll have a caster wheel. Rock and roll. Lag bolts didn't work so good. So I grabbed um, bolts.
these holes right here and, and I'm just drilling through so I can lay flat. So all I'll probably end up doing is just self-tapping screws through right here along the edges a couple places. Hold that in. Slap on the other side, we should be good to go. Put another panel up. Alright, maiden voyage. Oh, this is scary shit.